Hey there, let me guess. You've been spending countless hours online. You've been following the crane out on Instagram. You're really kind of maybe curious about what we're doing here, but you can't quite get here yet. That's totally okay. Today, I'm gonna to take you on a tour of Crane Island. But I also wanna help you understand a bit about how we approach this, how we learn from you, and how we take what you're trying to do and make it work here. So if you would, let me take you into my studio. I'll show you how we do it. So in the studio here, one of the fun things that we'll work with is this beautiful big screen. And obviously, we've got our website here. But one of the things that we like to really spend time on is this is called Vibe. And this is a basically a way we can learn together. And so if your passion, if your interest begins with the sustainability of Crane Island and you want to learn about how did we put this together? How are we protecting the trees here? And then as we move into the other really important facet of Crane Island is this focus on enduring architecture, timeless architecture that really comes from Fernandina Beach and then works its way all the way up to the Charleston area, this region called the Low Country. And so we've got a lot of ways in which we can talk about that. We can show you what we've actually built here. Again, I wanna relate this back to you and what you're looking to do so that there's a good fit. But don't worry, we actually go offline too. I like to work with paper. We like to do a lot of overlay details. So if we're looking at a plan as an example that kind of meets the criteria that you've shared, we'll put that on a lot. And then you'll see a lot of times we're gonna use this tracing paper and we're gonna figure out exactly how that plan will work on that lot and how it's gonna live so that you can enjoy these great views. So again, when you're here in the Crane Island Cottage, there's a lot of back and forth. It's really important because if I can understand what you're trying to do, then it's gonna make it a lot easier to help you understand what we're doing here and how it works. So uh, you got a lot of choices, that's really important. The other thing that's really important to me is certainty. That you're gonna know how long it takes, how much it's gonna cost, and who are the team members and people that you get to pick from to make all this work. You know, for me, one of the hallmarks when you're touring with me is to understand everything about Crane Island is trying to do understated luxury, right? So even our gate, when you first come in here, almost feels more like a national park. Like you're coming into this and we've got this like half mile drive even before you get to Crane Island. So there's actually two gates here at Crane Island. There's this outer gate, it closes at dusk. The thing I'm commonly told is whatever you see online, it's so much better here in person. It's actually, you get to feel the trees and the canopy and you really get to start seeing and feeling the, uh, the architecture that's here. So one of the first stops of any tour that I like to do is the central gathering space of Crane Island. We affectionately call this the River House. And what I love about the River House is it offers a nod to history. First of all, the structure of the facility is modeled after an old idea called a dog trot. And if you look through coastal South Carolina and Florida and Georgia and even parts of Texas, you will actually see a dog trot. And it, the way it was designed is there was a rectangular building. You would cook on one side, sleep on one side, and there was an airflow through the middle that the dog knew where the best breeze was, so they would hang out there. As you walk through the dog trot, you're gonna be embraced by this beautiful infinity edge pool. To your left is a favorite area where we do oyster roasts and we have wood burning fires and it's wonderful. And then as you kind of make your way below the pool, there's a wonderful bocce court. And then as you look out to the water side, there is basically a place where you can go if you want to kayak or paddleboard in the river and it's an elevator. So at the end of the dock, that goes all the way down into the water. You can go out and do your experience and then come back in and you can adjust the elevator to meet you wherever you are. So we've been touring the river house and one of the really important parts of the river house is the room I'm in. This is the gathering space. This is where everybody comes. If you just finished a workout, you're going to grab a water. But a lot of the social activities, a lot of the get togethers are in here. You'll work with your builders and architects on these tables to get things done. But it's also where we have a lot of great, we do fundraisers, we do chef's dinners, we're gonna do all kinds of guest lectures that come in here. So this is a really, really important part of life here. One of my favorite parts of being in this space is also we created an honor bar about five years ago. That honor bar has continued today. So the idea is you can come to the river house, enjoy it, but don't feel compelled like you got to bring anything to it. But if you do take something, you got to bring something back. And that's the only thing that we ask here at the river house.
So everything that we do at Crane Island on a property tour, it begins with the land. We've got over 20 choices that you can pick from today. And part of it is, what do you want to look at every day? What's the orientation? Do you want to look at sunsets? Do you want to watch sunrises? Do you want to be in the park? So there's a lot of choices. The big part of what I'm trying to do is help you understand what the offerings are, how to work the land, and maybe take the most advantage of trees and views. But then also, we're going to go through some homes today, and I'm actually going to show you finishes and the quality and the standards that we have here at Crane Island. So starting with the land is the most important thing, and that's where we're going to spend a lot of our time together when we're on the tour. One of the really beloved spaces is the park. And whether you live here or whether you just come here every day, this is all going to be available to you as you go down to the river house and enjoy those sunsets. The space I'm actually standing on is extra wide because we love to do food truck events as well. And that's a big part of the celebration here is food and music and coming together for the sunsets down at the river house. So really important that we can go and look at some homes, right? I want you to be able to see the finishes and I want you to see one family's interpretation of Low Country and some of the choices that they were able to make. And really it's unlimited. You're gonna, it's custom. We want it to be your reflection, your home, but let's go look at this one. It's a good one to see. So one of the things I love about every home is it really is personal to each family. Uh, this family came from New England. And so there's a lot of elements like the beadboard on the walls, and then just there's this classicism about this home um, with an interesting nod to the past, as well as coming in and actually taking advantage of some modern materials. So I love the fireplace and the shell stone that you see up above the fireplace. And everything about this room is to celebrate the river in all directions. So again, it's all of these little details that come together. What's also interesting is this is a partnership between homeowner, interior designer, and the Pickett construction team, who also has a whole project team in, in itself. So that's like really important. Just know that we're here, we're gonna be with you, and we have a whole team of people that will help you get through all this and hopefully make it fun and enjoyable too. So I really wanna thank you for coming on this tour with me today. We started at the cottage, we went to the river house, we've seen a couple home sites, you've been in a couple homes. This is all about you. This is all about your dream, your vision of what you're trying to do and what you're trying to do for your loved ones and what it's gonna mean for a period of years as you enjoy being here at Crane Island. What I'm hopeful for is same as the family behind me who had that vision of what they wanted to create. We can do that for you too. We've got a great team of architects, builders, interior designers. We've got tree farmers that will help you. We've got a whole litany of artisanal craftsmen that can help you bring this all together. I'll be your shepherd all the way through the process. I'm with you from the day you buy your lot to the day you move in. I'm also a property owner, so it's personal for me as part of the development team and as someone who also has their dream of building here. We can make this happen for you and I hope that you'll come on that tour, spend time with me, spend time with our team and actually make it your own. So thank you, thank you for being here and thank you for going on this tour with me today.